One, two. Good job. That's where I want you, okay? So here's the deal. So y'all, we're just gonna go ahead and move on to these tucks. Um, let me show you how easy it is for her to do a tuck just off the edge. You fall. It doesn't matter. You're gonna fall. You don't know how to do a tuck. No. Jaden, you can't do a tuck. No, you can't. Lyra. You're gonna fall. Jenny, you're not good. Okay? You don't even know how to do a tuck. Okay, go. Whatever, go. 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 Okay. Y'all, watch her fall. She's about to lose. No. I'm about to okay. win. Okay, go. Don't fall. Watch this, y'all. I'm the one. Yeah, but you're about to fall here. If you land, you win. But if you fall, I win. No, if, if you fall, but you're going to fall. Let's go. It doesn't matter. Go. One, two. Good job. That's where I want you, okay? So here's the deal. So y'all, we're just going to go ahead and move on to these tucks. Um, let me show you how easy it is for her to do a tuck just off the edge. So the thing is, I'm not worried about her landing. I know she can land every single one of these. Uh, and she knows she can land every single one of these, even if she has a bad set. But the goal is to not have a bad set because if you start your tuck off wrong, or sorry, if you start it off wrong, you're gonna end it wrong, okay? So keep that in mind. I'm gonna let Jaden do her thing. Jaden, I'm not gonna coach you through this part, okay? So uh, what are some things, talk to the mic, tell them some things that you're gonna focus on. Tell them things that they should focus on if they want to land a tuck. You need to go straight up or you're going to fall down. Yeah. So do you think going straight up is the most important part? I, if you, is, that's a subjective question because to me, the most important part is making sure you land no matter what. Okay. But if you want to reverse engineer it, the most important part is that first thing you do, which is going straight up. Show them a tuck. Let's go. Standing back. So not bad. So you landed that pretty easily, but I could rewind the video right now and show you that your legs never locked out, okay? You never went up. And I can tell because I saw your head hit the mat. You know what I mean? Let's go. Your head should be so, you should jump so high, I lift up so high. Hurt. Huh? I just heard it touch my hair. Yeah, it didn't hurt, but it's not supposed to happen. You know what I mean? So here, let's go ahead and move this purple mat. That's what I mean by over rotation. So here's the kicker, y'all. If she doesn't over rotate her tuck on the cheese wedge, she's going to fall every single time because the main issue is with this cheese wedge is going to absorb some of her power because it's squishy. It's not a hard surface. OK, so she's starting off with something negative. I think it's a positive because as she moves onto the floor, she'll be used to doing it on soft material. Jan, stop, mama. Do I expect you to land your first one? Huh? Yes. No, I don't expect you to land this. I know you could, but realistically, it's gonna take you a couple tries to get acclimated to it, okay? To get used to the to get used to the squishy and not being as high, okay? Not bad. Okay, so did you land that one? Is it the end of the world? No. Are you hurt? Did you break your foot? Is your foot broken? No. So get up, try again. Let's go. So why didn't you land that one? Did your feet land behind you or under you? Under. No, they landed behind you. Okay, so the goal is to make your feet land in front of you. Okay, let's go. Hey, big tip for you. And this is for at home practice, which we really shouldn't be practicing at home a lot. But at gymnastics, if you fall, get right back up. Okay, and then talk about it. And don't ever talk about stuff while you're still on the ground. Okay, get off the ground, stand up, and then talk about what went wrong. Okay, let's go. Uh, 